Can you all hear me okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Don't make me laugh. Well, okay. Make <laughs> purchasing books. Um, before I came to work at Romans, I didn't real I thought Romans just automatically got great authors. But we get the fact is we get authors based on the number of the new book of their new <laughs> of their, I'll make it really fast. Of their new books that we sign that, that we sell the night they're here. So if we have people bringing books from outside, it's yeah. kind of like you can't bring your own beer into the bar. Mr. Conway has brought laughter and joy to us, and he continues to do so. During his 11 years on The Carol Burnett Show, he won six Emmys, a Golden Globe, great critical acclaim, and three generations of devoted viewers. His many awards include a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, yeah. membership in the Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences Hall of Fame, the TV lands. Tim Conway was born in Willoughby, Ohio. He rose to fame quickly, beginning as a staff member at a Cleveland TV se station, and soon became a regular on this TV show. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pretty exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I, tell you. Um, I am here to, uh, as this lovely lady said, is it Anna? Connie. Connie. <laughs> okay, I was close with the, there were two N's. Yeah, right, okay. Um, I can't read, I'm dyslexic. Um, yes, do you have any questions you might like to ask? Uh, okay, good night, yes. <laughs> I love the blooper with the Siamese elephants. The blooper with the Siamese elephants, yes. Um, what was that on? That was on Carol's show, wasn't it? Yeah, a Burnett, yeah. Um, the reason I did all that was uh, I took about five minutes to talk about these elephants uh, that were joined at the trunk. They could only go north. Because, and I went on about this thing because the director had come out of the booth and said, this show is very long, so please, just when they ask you the question, just say elephant and get off. So I did about five minutes on elephants, <laughs> just to cheer up the crowd, you know. Um, yeah, I, we got away with a lot of stuff on those days. Yeah. Anybody else? Comedy is the hardest thing to do because you are forced to make people laugh. I mean, you're not forced to, but it says you'll laugh with uh, Gwendolyn and uh, you, you have to make them uh, smile or laugh or something. And so that's, it's easy to talk about a tree, you know, if you're just talking about gardening, but uh, to make them laugh, that's uh, something else. I try not to do that uh, because it interferes with, it just drags out the program when people are laughing, you know what I mean? Yes. Was there anyone I was awestruck with on the Burnett show? Um, boy, I worked with some great ones uh, too. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, George Washington. Uh, they were all great guys and great drinkers, actually. Um, I, I think I liked about everybody uh, the same. And nobody was ever uh, snooty on that show. I mean, they, they never um, pulled anything that uh, made them special. Ex I did, but they didn't, you know. Um, so uh, I got along nicely with everybody, and it was a wonderful show. To Carol is the, probably the nicest person you could imagine. I'll get it. Uh, <laughs> hello? <laughs> Who is that? Your sister? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Give me that thing. I'll talk. <laughs> 
How do you open this thing? Oh. Hello? Hi. How are you doing? You are. Yeah, you are. Uh, you've interrupted a, a prayer meeting here. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're sorry. How do you think I feel? These people are expecting uh, some kind of genius to come out of me and not that nothing. Um, I did want to be a jockey. That was my uh, goal in life. Uh, however, at this weight, uh, even the horses ask you to get off. So, uh, uh, but that was my uh, my goal in life. Yeah, I loved. Uh, I still do love racing and. Uh,